Hello, Citywide Gardens family. Just a garden update. I know a lot of this looks really, really bad, really rough. Seems that some of my spaghetti and butternut squash, you know, aren't doing too well. Been away for a week. I mean, we had rain off and on while I was gone, so I wasn't too worried about constant watering. So, you know, I said, I'll get what I'll get. I had to take one spaghetti squash off because the vine had died. And now I know having it up along this fence isn't the best idea because everywhere there's a node, they can grow roots and go down into the ground. So if the beginning part of the vine dies, the rest of it will still be able to get nutrients. Okay, live and learn. That's how I'm treating my gardening adventure. So there are still some things alive. Green beans, green peppers, the sweet potatoes are doing okay. I have green beans in the back over here, you know, that took off after I took out potatoes and garlic and things of that nature and now they're going crazy, no problem. My volunteer cherry tomatoes and on the other side is my volunteer romas. Planted watermelon in that silver bed there when I took out the potatoes. And what did else have I had in there? I don't remember. Peas. Peas and potatoes I had in there. Still have a couple of white potatoes. Probably one third of that bed on this side. And that's the potato leaves there coming up through the fence. And they're all bright green, so I'm not going to touch them. You know, tomato jungle. Yellowing some leaf curl. They're still going. I'm going to give them some nutrients. Okay. Okay. Those Tabasco peppers, one's yellow sticking up, and I have habanero, the orange ones down there in the bottom and in the front. Okay, fine. Oh, my romas and jalapenos over there, doing fine. You know, I was on my way out of the garden with the hose. I didn't have to come over this little fencing here to keep the dogs out. And what do I see? This. This thing is. As long as my my lower arm, lower my forearm. I don't know when it started, but it's uh, whew, that's actually probably a trombocino. That's what that is. That's why it's so big. I was thinking it was a butternut. Nope, that's one of the trombocinos. It's huge. It's almost to the ground. And obviously that's been there for a while, but because it's green, it blends in with everything else. I didn't see it. You know, life goes on. It's okay. Just thought that would be a nice little bright spot in all the wilt. I did harvest one actual decent sized green pepper yesterday. I do have more growing, more flowers. So hopefully the heat didn't, isn't gonna completely kill them. This is my one spaghetti squash and I believe it's on a dead vine. So I have to find out, I have to Google if it can survive off the vine or not. But other than that, I pulled up the cucumbers there that were on the other side of the habanero and Tabasco peppers. I'll find something to start in there. Probably put some collards in there to get them started because I'm going to have all collards and uh, collards and garlic all winter. Is That's going to be my overwinter vegetables. But that's the latest update. Thanks for watching.